Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new video in the Kufi Qayrawani series. In today's video we are going to continue with the uh, fourth lesson in this series which we will discuss uh, some uh, other letters such as the meme and the ha. We're going to start with the letter meme and for this letter we're going to start with two and a half points above the line. By the way, uh, I always have lines on my paper which might not be visible because it's made out with pencil. So you should have uh, lines on yours too, if you don't have a, an already sort of lined one. So the two and a half here, we start with them. This is the, the height. And for the letter mean we do have several shapes, but we're going to come to this uh, with time. And the width would be three, two and a half points. One, two and a half. What we are going to do here is basically mark this point, the first one, and of course the maximum height. Now we do have a drop of one and a half point here, which will be the end of the letter mean. So we've marked this point, and from this point we are going to move to the right with a slight curve. So this curve is something like this. So you start with a curvature, then you rotate and you go back. So you will have this shape on the right of the mean. This is the singular mean, by the way. So we start here with whatever angle with a pen, it doesn't matter, because it's all gonna be filled. You go down with a nice curve to the right, and when you touch this line here, you would lift the pen with the rotation that we talked about, and you would go back like this. And you would go back, and you would stop here. So this is the first move. The second one would be a line here, just to give you an idea about the next move. The next move would be coming from back here. Now, what you will need here is a smooth curve, something like this. So in order to make this curve, you could either use the pin itself like this, but you have to keep an eye on the top part of it. So that will give you this curve. You don't want to end up with a sharp transition that will give you a straight line at some point. Or you could simply draw it like this touch, then back. You need a back move here, like this. This back move would be slightly above the line, so it would be like the half point that we've got here. It would be slightly above it. Uh, then you would just simply do a curve like this. That would again take you back to this line. So uh, you will add a opening here, an opening at this point, and you would color this whole area. To recall, you would do the first curve to the right, then a curve to the left, then you would come back with a curvature from here that would go below the line and back, just like this, and you would connect these together. And this curve, I drew it because it's easier for you to start with this move, then you could just do it with your pen like this. Neat and beautiful, and your opening would be somewhere in the middle. And this is the mean by itself, singular. When you have a connected meme or a beginning meme, it's the same height again. You would use the same height that we've used here. What will change is that you might have some additions to it. So you're gonna do the same width, one, two and a half, starting from this point as you can see. You will do the same move, but for example, it is connected, let's say, so you've got a line coming from the right. So when you go down, you stop at this angle, but you drop it down like this. So you can see this uh, sort of extra bit down below the line. So this extra bit is uh, something that you would get by simply moving downward, and you would stop when the lower edge of the pen touches this line that you've got here. Then you would simply go back with the same move that we did here, and you would finish your letter just like this. And you would add an opening inside. So this is a meme in the middle. It could also be the beginning of a letter, simply by either doing this, the beginning of a word and continuing it. So it's the same thing, but it is connected. Now, 
you could, you could also have a shape that is the same height, but it is, uh, let's say, thinner, two points instead of two and a half. And the height again is one, two and a half. And for this one, you will have a straight drop on the right. There's, there are no curves right here. And you'll have a slight nudge to the right like this one. This is drone. So this is the first move that I did with the pin itself. Then the right move here, which is a, an extruded part of the letter, is something that you would draw with your hand. Then you would go back with your letter, but the going back here is something that will show us the kufi that we usually use the kufi fatami. So here you will have this curve going down, then right. You see, you've got this curvature. This is the one that we're going to do here. So you go down, right, then you close the letter. And this is basically the normal shape that you would see most of the time in the Kufi Fatami. And this is connected, as we said, and you would color this part. This could also be uh, in the middle of the word. So here we've got the singular, one shape. You've got the connected either at the beginning of a word that looks like the singular or the vertical one like this one. What if you had it at the end of a word? It would be the same thing, but you will, the only difference is that you will uh, draw the end part that we had here. So going down and you would add this part, the end uh, shape that we got, that we talked about before. The pin is just seeping through a lot of ink. This should be thin like this one. <laughs> You would stop like this, with the top part coming smoothly, joining it smoothly. No, oh, you could actually draw it the other way around. <laughs> so this is the meme, singular, middle, or at the end of a word. After the meme, we've got noon. The letter noon is easy, it's simple. Uh, it is kind of similar to uh, scripts are uh, similar to letters that we've seen before, like the bear and the bear and the uh, cap of the scene and so on. So we start with two points of height and one and a half points of width. This would be the top part of the letter. The lower part would be four and a half points of drop, like this. And just like what we did for the letter C, we're going to do four points of width for the lower part. Then this part would come up for two points, one and two. So you start here, very basic and simple, going down to the right, then stopping here with a nice curvature to the, to the left. Now this shape could be like this, like with an angle, or it could be like uh, vertical, so you would start this going left, but you will draw a vertical shape to it this way. Then you would start doing your uh, cup shape, stopping down here. And this shape, I don't think that we've mentioned it, but this shape goes for three points of length. Talking about the length from here to here. But again, it's governed with the uh, two points up here. Again, with the rotation of the pin while moving, this is important to get this nice uh, curve. And you would go down with this line, color this part. And this would be the letter noon. If it was connected, simple and easy, you simply connect it from here. Again, you have the option of having it curvy like this. And there's another option of it being longer with regards to the end part here by having it three and a half instead of two and a half and it will uh, raise a bit to this point so you would have your first move going down to the second let's curve it this time doing it this curve gonna use this skill and finally here you will have the longer and moving upward shape this one like this. It doesn't really matter which shape to choose. Uh, but for example, this one looks like it's a bit weak. So you could use the normal 
uh, ending, the 2 point, the 3.1 for this one, and you could use this one that goes up with the more steady uh, cup here. So this is the letter noon, very basic, very simple. Uh, it's really lovely when it comes noon and qaf and uh, ya, yeah, which will come to later, and those cups would uh, give you a really nice uh, effect in the art piece. Uh, meme noon, now we've got the letter ha. And for her, we have several cases. When it's singular, it has a certain shape, uh, two and a half points, and two and a half points of width. And for this guy, what we are going to do is take the first point, and we have a nice uh, look to it. So I'm not sure if you people have this chocolate called Kisses in your country, but there's a chocolate that looks like this. which is really tasty. And the heart is similar to it, but the difference is that the right side looks similar to it, but the left side, it goes back and it goes this way. So it does look like a meme, but it has this distinctive shape that we're gonna see now. So you start with this move, you go right with a nice curve like this, then the other curve would join back here. And this lower part will have to be so curvy, just like this, like a drop of water. It looks really pretty. Then when you come back, you come back to this edge, as you can see here. Touch it and curve downward. You see this lovely droplet shape. And with regards to the ending down here, you can simply do this. And the opening would be here in the middle. And there you go. You've got this beautiful shape. I really love the shape of the hat. The, the, the opening could be slightly up, up above, so... You could choose this part here, so that when you do your ending down here, it would look fat and alive, it would look skinny. So this is the hat by itself. When the hat uh, connects, comes out at the beginning or the middle of a word, uh, you use the same shape here, but you have to change the opening. So you're coming from a connection here and the, 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 the start of this letter, you will have to go up a bit, just a slight nudge so that it will join smoothly with this part. And you would do the exact same moves that we've got there with regards to the two and a half points of width, two and a half points of height. With the first point, you would go down with a nice curve, rotate, come back. The same thing goes for the other side, rotate, come back. And the thing here that you need to distinguish the heart from the meme is that you have a nice curvature going backward at the end of the letter. Then you've got the uh, two openings instead of one. And you would color this whole shape here. And this is the, the smooth transition that we talked about. So you stop here, you could go up a bit, or you could simply go all the way up if you uh, practice it enough, then you would go back. And here you could have this, these two uh, sort of, the options that you have here is like a width of the pen that you have in your hand and these two openings next to it. So this is quite close to each other. So this is the first option. You've got another option of having two uh, of these. Instead of having circles, you would have them rectangular. And for that, you would simply come to the middle here, separate this part, then add one, two, close this, this one, close the upper one like this. You will have a nice rectangular shape and color the remaining uh, spaces here. So you've got either the uh, square, the circles or the rectangular ones. Uh, if it came at the end, you have three options for that one. It could be vertical, just like a meme, but this will drop down to here. And the end here would be like the end here. With the same height. So for example, you would take this part of the letter like this. But of course it will be wider because it's uh, at the end it's the whole letter. And you would finish this on this side. And you would add your opening in the middle here. So this is one option which is the same height as the previous ones. You've got other options of having it also 
slanted with an angle, like the previous ones, like this, with the drop that we talked about. And this would come back, and this would... Be careful with regards to this curve, with the ending of the letter. So the ending has to go in before it uh, touches the line. You need a curvature down here. And you would color this part again. There's also another shape where it would be vertical, but it would be higher. So whatever suits you, to be honest with you, would be higher with a quarter of a point, not a lot. So here you've got two and a half points, and this would be like uh, two and three quarters of a point, just like this. So it's up to your taste. This is the shapes of the heart. So by itself, it has a certain shape uh, in the middle and at the end, it changes shapes. So after the heart, we have the letter Ya, which is really pretty and beautiful, but you need to focus with me on this one. So this one has several uh, sort of dimensions that we are going uh, through, and I might actually use a bigger pen for the top part, top part of it, because here, what we have is the following. We start with one and a half points of height. All right. So this is the height of the first uh, yeah that we've got here. Then we're going to add three, high, three points of width. One, two, three. Make sure that you've got good square shape dots so that you will have the, enough space to work with. So this would be the top part space that we're going to work around with. Now, once you've done this scale, you've got your main line down here. You can see it. What you're going to do is you're going to take this midline and add this point that goes half in, half out. So it's half on top and half below. Excellent. And you're going to add quarter of that point down here. Like it's an extra... Uh, distance down here because when you go back with a letter your pen would end up here and you will have to go straight so you want a slight uh, gap between the top part and the part that is below the line now this is your first uh, let's say uh, general points then you're gonna go with these points that you've got here and you're gonna take each midpoint of these and draw a line down here the first one the second one the third one is the one that you're going to end the letter with here. So this is going to make it just a strict line like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a shape that is similar to a scorpion's tail. If you've ever seen a scorpion tail, uh, it would look something like this. So you've got this big part and it goes down with this shape. Then it continues with the tail itself. So this is the, uh, what do you call it? The needle that stings people. So you take this shape and you would do something similar to it right over here. You're going to start with this point, the half point here, and you're going to curve it upward just like this. Then this point, this midpoint, the second half, is the place where you've got the top tangent of the circle up here. So here you've got a circle tangent with this point and it goes down to this edge. Then you would take this part and you would drop it down and you would go back with a nice curvature to this area. You see the pretty shape that we've got here. Then what you will do is simple. You would simply take this part and come down with it down to here. But this part you could continue with a pin itself. So. What you have to do is to go back and check these or coordinations that we've done here. With time, you'll be able to produce this shape without these uh, limitations because you're going to have your pen here. And this is the single layout, by the way. You're going to go up. You're going to curve back. And with a good sense of the positioning of your pen, you would take this down here. And you would immediately rotate, come back and drop below the line, just like we did here. So the space that we made for uh, this area here is because when you go down, you need this gap. And when you continue this shape, it would look like this, beautiful. And this space that we made, the drop that we made here is the one that gave us this lovely gap here. 
Uh, with regards to the remaining of it, you could either stop here and go down like a noon letter, or you could drag it half a point and stop here and drop down, or you could just go back with it. So I'm going to do, the, the first option is to stop here and go down, and with this you would drop four points below this point, and you would take this shape, and you go like we did before with the four points with regards to the uh, noon shape. So this is going to go to this point, to this angle. Then it will go back up the two points that we've done for the uh, noon before. So what you're going to do here is you go down, stop here, and you would do your end shape like we did for the letter noon. Just like this, and you would color this part. So this is the first shape. It could end with the end of the letter or the start of the letter. The second option is that it will go back for half a point, and this is the one that I prefer more. It gives it a nice uh, chest, chest look like. And when you drag it back there, it will drag itself back to here. So this will simply automatically work by itself. And this would end the same thing as the previous one. Or you could simply continue it with a straight line. So these are all options that we're going to look into when we write an example in a bit. So this is the Yacht Singular by itself. I'm going to write it with a smaller pen, just for you to see it without the skill. Starting from here, going up, going up, rotate and go back. Then you would do the full size of it because you want to see what you're doing. Then when you come back here, you would do the same thing. Stop back here, close this thing on itself. Then simply go back with your final move and move ahead to the top part with a nice ending and close it on itself. Don't forget to color this part. Singular, yeah. Simple, easy, beautiful. You could fix this edge if you want to. <laughs> it's not fixed. Now, when they are connects, you have a second option of making it bigger. So here we had the maxi maximum height to be one and a half. If it was connected, you have the option of having it to be two points of height and proper three points of width. And that makes huge difference when it comes to the letter, yeah. Because what you're gonna do here is basically you've got the connection coming from the right and you would have the circular tangent instead of being down here to this point no it'll be big we come from top here and it will come back here and when you continue it to continue it below the line it, you will have this huge duck like head let's say so you would stop go up rotate come back and do your ending here then you could go back and color this part if you want. Now, as we said before, you could have this option of going up or you could simply color all this until it reaches down to this point. So you would have either a big chunk of blackness or dark letter at the top, or you could have it this smiley shape or the scorpion end. And with regards to the ending, as we said, you could either stop it right when the letter starts or drag it slightly behind and go down or simply go straight uh, to the right. Uh, you could also use this one at the end, so it's your call with regards to this one. Uh, yeah, at the start of the letter or midpoint is uh, just like a yeah, ba or a ta or a tha. Uh, now, for examples, we're going to leave the lam alif for later because uh, today's letter lesson is just getting really long. Uh, for examples, you could have Ali or Ala. So here we've got the letter Ain. Connected to a lamb. Then a Ya. And for this year I'm going to show you the smooth uh, 
a straight one. Very simple and easy. You simply go back with a straight line and you would either stop it with this letter or if it was if you had a text uh, next to it. So yajibu ala, for example, uh, you would have a ya, a jim, and a ba. This could actually elongate all the way back to the whole text, so it's up to you. So yajibu ala, for example. Or you could have the ending. And uh, with regards to uh, the meme, we could write Muhammad. So you have also the option of using this one that curves around and comes back. Or you could use the straight one. It's your call. Then we have a hat, which I am going to use this one that stops. And here we're going to drag it down a bit. Go up and continue with the next meme. And for the next meme, mm, I might actually use the straight one. Although this the uh, slanted one would look prettier, but just for a change, gonna use this one. Close this. Finally, the dal. So yeah. You have Muhammad, and for the heart, you could write Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will have an alif, a lamb, another lamb that could be smaller, and finally a hat, which I am going to use the straight one. That goes down and rotates back with a nice nudge down here. Very simple, very beautiful. And you could actually go back and scale these things because this has to be longer. Yeah, it's half a point shorter because uh, when you do this properly, the heart would actually be bigger and it would be the proper size. So here you go, find words that have these letters in them, practice them, and uh, hope this video was informative and helpful. Like, share and subscribe to the channel, and catch you in the next one inshallah. This has been Amar Awadi, have a lovely day, evening or night, and goodbye.